Namaskar. Uh, myself, uh, Pranjal Pratim Das, a Faculty of Department of Biotechnology, Dorong College. I welcome all of you uh, to this uh, e-learning page. We have already discussed about uh, enzyme purification and we have learned that uh, there are many phases, there are many phases involved in the, the enzyme purification process. So first, uh, we, we understood that the first event it is going to be the cell lysis event, which is very crucial. So let's uh, let's discuss about the 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 cell disruption or the cell lysis uh, event. So what uh, we can understand by uh, the, the, the the cell lysis. So we are going to we are going to release the, the intracellular enzymes. As I have already told that. Um, the cell lysis event is very crucial for, for, the, for, for the release of the intracellular enzymes. It is not necessary for, the, for, the, for, for those cells that are secreting the enzymes as extracellular. So it is crucial for the release of intracellular components. Components means here we can understand that they are talking about the intracellular enzymes. But it can also be used for the release of nucleic acid, for example, isolation of DNA. For example, uh, isolation, for example, isolation of secondary metabolites, right? So next it is said that we have to understand that it must be effective. The cell disruption method, it has to be effective in releasing this uh, cell, cellular compo compounds. How it's reliable, it has to be reliable, it has to be efficient, and it has to be effective. So these are the, these are the things we have to take care of. So there are many different cell disruption methods are there. It's 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 it's, it's it will vary de uh, depending on the cell types we are dealing with. It's maybe the prokaryotic, it's maybe the eukaryotic, it's maybe it's maybe it's maybe it's, it's maybe uh, uh, yeast, right? So it also depends on the enzyme of our interest. So we know that there are six different classes of enzymes are there. So it depends on which type of enzyme we are dealing with. So next, uh, next it is said that we have to give special attention uh, while uh, you know selecting the uh, selecting the um, selecting the uh, cell disruption methods. Why? We have to uh, we have to complete the cell disruption methods within a very short frame of short time period short time frame. So why uh, why uh, we need a short time frame? Because if the cell lysis event is going to be very, going to be um, I mean too long. So what will happen? This uh, cell dis disruptions event it is going to it is going to give us a misleading results, or we are not going to have that mass of yield, or we are not going to uh, we, we are not going to maintain the activity of the enzymes. So uh, I mean we have to. We have to complete the cell disruption methods within, uh, I mean, within a very short time frame. That's sir, that's clear. So again, the last point, what we have to take care of that, uh, while uh, you know uh, selecting, uh, while 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 uh, doing the cell disruption, so we have to maintain a very cool temperature, like four degrees centigrade. Why? Because we are going to deal with only a only a single only a single cell type. There is no mixture of cells are present. So if we carry out the cell disruption methods in the room temperature, so what what is going to happen? Suppose we are dealing with uh, the eukaryotic organisms. So we are going to have a microbial contamination there. Suppose we are dealing with uh, a microbial uh, one particular. Um, prokaryotic organisms so it's may possible it's may possible that uh, we are going to have a we are going to have a contamination contamination with the other other prokaryotic organisms so these are the things we have to take care we have, we have to take care of now these are the uh, different cell disruption methods so the, the, the methods may be broadly classified into mechanical mechanical way and a non-mechanical way and mechanical uh, way we have uh, the forces acting in uh, suspension and in uh, in other side uh, we have a uh, forces acting through solid solid interaction so under the forces acting in suspension these are the different ways uh, through which we can do the cell disruption um, cell disruptions spas means a high pressure homogenization 
imprintment, hydrodynamic cavitation, mechanical agitation. So every steps it has, we have to we have to be trained. We have to be trained in each of these steps. So it is it is it is it is theoretically it is uh, not uh, not possible. So if we are going to uh, handle with uh, high pressure, then we have to be we have to be trained in that way. Right. So in forces acting through solid solid interactions, we have bead mills, motor and pistol. The motor and pistols are basically, I mean, it is most uh, frequently used uh, in the in the in the in the UG as well as uh, master's level practicals. But in uh, in a, you know you know you know in, in, in case of the research, uh, high level research or very sensitive research, we have we we use different methods like high pressure homogenization. Now in non-mechanical approaches, we have physical methods. We have, we have physical way, we have a chemical way, we have biological way. So in physical way, what we can use, we can use temperature extremes, osmotic shops, desiccation, gas decom decompression, sonication, hydrodynamic capitation. So here, uh, very uh, briefly, uh, we can understand osmotic shock. So what happens in osmotic shock? Um, in osmotic shock, what uh, what we do? We place the place the cell in high concentration of a solute. So um, I mean um, I mean using the osmotic soap we can we can uh, we can uh, we can we can brush or even the cell. So in chemical process uh, uh, we can use pH extremes, we can use the detergents, we can use the solvents, we can use the antibiotics, we can use the sliding agents, we can we can also use salt trips, right? So in biological way we can use uh, we can we can use. Uh, External cell or lytic uh, enzymes or lysis induce uh, lysis, and uh, also we can use the wall inhibitors. So, uh, if you, if you see this slide, you can you can at least you can understand that there are diverse types of cell disruption methods are there. There, there, there are diverse methods are there. So. Now the question is, I mean, uh, how we will select or which type of method we are going to we are going to use? Suppose we are going to dealing with with uh, with a particular type of enzyme in a particular cell. It's, it's, suppose it is the prokaryotic organisms. So one way we can use we can see the literature, we can see the you can see the reported publications, and we can go through the go through and what those uh, scholars they have used in their in their in their in their work. And in other way, we can have the comparative study. We can use the, we can combine the, we can combine the. Suppose, suppose we have, we have isolated. Uh, suppose we have, uh, we have uh, used the modern pistol. We have used the osmotic soap. We have also used the, suppose the autolysis. These are the three different uh, ways we are. Suppose we are isolating our intracellular enzymes. So we can we can have the comparative study that, that in which way we have the maximum yield, or we have maintained the enzyme activity. So we have to we uh, in, in 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 my opinion. So both of both these ways we can we can stand we can we can standardize. What sort of method we uh, we are going to use for your uh, you mean for your research purpose? These are things, and uh, for for the, for the competitive exams, you have to remember. You have to remember like uh, what are the what are the different types of physical methods you have to remember? What are the different types of chemical methods uh, that you have to remember? Suppose. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, which of the point is not belongs to the mechanical process, or which of the which of the which of the which of the uh, which of the techniques uh, uh, or cell types methods it is not belongs to the non-mechanical process. So this way you have to you have to understand or see the cell destruction method. The question may uh, they may ask the question in the competitive uh, competitive examination in this way. Getting my getting my point. Now moving to the next uh, moving to the next slide. Cell disorder techniques vary in their effectiveness due to the considerable number of parameters. So there are I mean, so many parameters are there. So what they have said, including the cell morphology, we have to we have to understand the cell size and cell shape. So that's what we have to take care of. Cell wall characteristics. So we have to understand whether the cell wall is present or not. If cell wall is present, what is what is the thickness of the cell wall? No, right we have to we have to we have to take care of chemical compound properties chemical compound properties means what is the property of the property of the enzymes 
whether I mean our enzyme is heat sensitive, whether our enzyme it is uh, it is it is sensitive to the pH, extreme pH that we have to take care of. Diffusi diffusivity in the solvent. Diffusivity in the solvent means uh, once we have isolated our enzyme of interest, that enzyme has to be that en that enzyme has to be soluble in the solvent systems. In the solvent system, that enzyme has to be soluble. If the enzyme it is not soluble, then how um, then uh, we it, it is not possible for us to flow the next next uh, phases involved in the enzyme purification process. Mm -hmm. And the last, the intracellular locus of the molecule of interest among others. So, so um, that means uh, where our where our enzyme is exactly present. So uh, within the cell, where exactly our enzyme of interest is present, that also we have to take care of. So these are the things. Eh? These are things we have to take care of while, while, uh, while selecting or while adopting a, a particular cell disruption methods. These techniques could be utilized individually or sequentially within a molecule recovery process in such a way as to ensure industrial viability. So industrial viability means industrial viability means that it has to be it has to be uh, it has to be uh, profitable. It has to be profitable from the, from the industrial point of view. That means we are, we should have we should have uh, we should have uh, uh, commandable the yield uh, while adopting a particular or while using uh, while selecting a cell disruption method. So. so uh, we can use individually or in uh, so we already has said uh, sequentially so, so, suppose uh, we have used first uh, we have used the modern pistol in modern pistol suppose we have disrupted 50 uh, percent of the cells then we can go for the osmotic shock then we can go for the ps extremes i'm gi just giving you the examples so this is and i mean this way we can disrupt the cells lastly the success of given configuration hinges on striking a balance between cost time as well as yield so we have to we have to remember this uh, we have to remember these three parameters the cost so i mean for suppose uh, suppose we are using the high high pressure homogenization so that means we have to process a uh, machine we need a machine there so that means uh, we are we are we are i mean it is uh, that method is very costly if you are using the modern pastel that means uh, hardly it will cost uh, hardly it will cost uh, Hardly will cost a minimum rupees we can buy a modern pistol right then again time we have already discussed so we have to we have to complete the cell disruption methods within a very short short time frame and lastly it is the yield yield means i mean uh, we, we yield means uh, suppose we have we have a uh, thousand number of cells from the south thousand number of cells what is the amount of enzymes uh, intracellular enzymes exactly we are we are we're getting or we are receiving so these are the things the three parameters cost time as well as the yields we have to we have to we have to remember so uh, this is uh, you know uh, this is uh, uh, this is um, I said briefly about the cell uh, disruption methods the first phase uh, that is uh, in the enzyme purification process so today what we have uh, learned we have learned about the we have learned about the cell disruption we have uh, we have understood the we have understood the importance and the, what are the parameters we should uh, you know take care of uh, when take care of while uh, selecting the enzyme of our sorry while selecting the cell disruption uh, methods so we we understood that uh, it has to be reliable it has to be efficient and it has to be very effective right and we have to take care of uh, the time frame there it, it it should not take a long time and again we understood that we have to carry out the cell disruption methods uh, in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a very low temperature so that there is no bacterial or microbial contaminations or other contaminations are there so we have also understood that uh, you know the cell disruption methods broadly can be classified into mechanical approach and a non-mechanical mechanical approach so we understood that uh, in mechanical approach non-mechanical approach there are you know uh, there are subsections are there for suppose that in mechanical approach we have the process acting in suspension and uh, and uh, uh, forces acting through solid solid interactions these are 
I mean, again, uh, under force acting suspension, we have different uh, we have different ways we can do. In non mechanical approach, uh, we can we have the physical, we have the chemical, we have the biological methods. So these are the different uh, these are different classes uh, di different classes uh, of uh, uh, cell disruption methods. So as I have told you all that, uh, you have to remember all those methods uh, for the computer exams and purposes. They can ask you which of the flowing uh, which of flowing approach is belongs to the non mechanical approaches, or which of flowing is belongs to the mechanical approaches. Or they can ask so ask you which of the flowing is an example of the physical uh, physical methods that is used for the cell disruption purposes they can ask in this way so i i ask you to remember remember i mean these uh, cell disruptions methods right so lastly we have understood that uh, i mean uh, the cell disruption uh, techniques it has to be uh, it has to uh, it has to it has to be uh, carried out in such a way that uh, such a way that uh, there is a there is a there is a, there is a, there is a, I mean maximum yield time frame is very short and we, we have a, we have minimum cost involved in the in the process again we have understood that we can use the cell disruption method individually or sequentially also I have told you that for the selection of the uh, selection of a particular cell disruption methods we can use a published literature or or manually we can we can we can we can uh, we can uh, adopt uh, you know two two to three or four to five uh, you know cell disruption methods then we can compare the ills uh, that found in every cell disruption methods again these are the param parameters that we have to take care of cell morphology cell wall characteristics chemical compound properties uh, diffusivity in the solvents and uh, and also the intracellular locus or the molecule of our interest so this is, uh, you know, uh, the, the very briefly, very briefly, the cell disruption about the cell disruption methods used in the enzyme purification process. So I hope you have, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm able to give you, uh, I'm, I'm able to uh, uh, give you uh, a brief look out on the uh, cell disruption methods. You have to. You have given you the link to, um, uh, in the in the last slide, and if you are interested in the to understand the cell disruption detail about the cell disruption methods, so you can go to the link, and I encourage you to uh, you to and uh, train yourself in the in 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 uh, few of the um, cell lysis um, methods, so that you so that you can you can you can you can understand that you can grab the skill involved in the in the process. So I, I request all of you to uh, give your valuable uh, you know uh, suggestion as well as comments in the in the in the link. So as I said earlier, get your suggestion and uh, comments are very valuable uh, for me to you know upgrade my um, upgrade my presentation as well as uh, you know uh, presentation as well as uh, you know the content of the content of the e-learning phase. So with this, I'd like to uh, conclude here. Thank you for your valuable time. See you again till then. Goodbye and uh, take care all of you. Thank you.